this is a way that wild chimps have of basically drinking water. With leaves, they'll sort of take a bunch, fold them over in their mouth and drop it in and then suck on it in their mouth. And it, it's a little bit like making a little sponge, basically. So what you can see is Nick, who's the alpha male, up there in the tree and collecting with his mouth and with his hands little bits of moss off the branch and then coming back down and then he uses it as a leaf sponge. And I'd, I'd never seen anything quite like that before. Um, I mean, it made sort of a lot of sense initially. I was like, oh, maybe moss is, you know, soaks up more water or maybe it filters out some of the dirt. Um, but it was interesting enough to then sort of grab my attention. And so I then sat for the next few days and filmed everybody that came to see who did the behavior and who didn't. What we're seeing that's amazing is that this is the first direct evidence for culture that we've got in wild chimps. Because we've never actually been able to see the start of something new in a wild group spread from individual to individual. And that was the, that was the final piece in the puzzle to be able to say yes. These differences in chimp behavior are cultural in the way that we understand them from a sort of human perspective.